Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mohammad Sohil and today we are going to start pharmacy practice from B Farm 7 Sem final year. In this video lecture, we are going to start unit first that is hospital and its organization. So from this unit, we have to cover total four chapters that is hospital and its organization, hospital pharmacy and its organization, adverse drug reaction and community pharmacy. So from this session, we are going to start unit first that is hospital and its organization. So without any further delay, let's begin with our today's session. First of all, from this unit, we'll see what is the definition behind a hospital or what do we mean by hospital, then what are the classification of hospital then what is clinical and non-clinical hospital so first of all what do you mean by hospital so simply hospital can be defined as an institution of community health or a specialized complex organization which includes physicians surgeons and team of technical staff hospital provides facilities for diagnosis therapy prevention education and research hospital should be a customer oriented institution since it is meant for them now coming to the classification of hospitals hospital can be classified into three classes primary hospital secondary hospital and tertiary hospital first we'll see primary hospital so primary hospital is typically a hospital that contain less than 100 beds they are tasked with providing preventive care, minimal health care and rehabilitation services. They are a basic level of contact between individuals and families with the healthy system. They include general practitioner, family physician and physiotherapist. The basic service provided by them are immunization, maternal and child health services, curative care service and prevention of diseases are provided by PHC. The staff in PHC include a medical officer, a staff nurse and paramedical support staff. So this is all about primary hospital. Now coming to the secondary hospitals. So secondary hospitals is preferred with a medium sized city, country or district and contain more than 100 beds but less than 500. They are responsible for providing complete health services and medical education and also conduct research on regional basis. This hospital includes cardiologist, urologist, dermatologist and other such specialist. The service are provided by medical specialist. The service which is provided by medical specialist include acute care, short period stay in hospital, emergency department for brief but serious illness. There may be providers who remain in contact but do not work in hospital such as psychiatrist, physiotherapist, respiratory therapist, etc. District hospital and community health centers at the block level are the example of secondary hospitals. So this is all about the secondary hospitals. Now coming to the last that is tertiary hospitals. Tertiary hospital are general hospitals of the city at national level with the bed capacity of 500. They are responsible for providing specialist health services and play a vital role with regard to medical education and scientific research and they all also serve as a medical hub providing care to multiple region. The patient are admitted into these centers on a referral from primary or secondary health professionals. They offer personal facility as well as facilities for advanced medical investigation and treatment. They provide advanced diagnostic support services, specialized in intensive care and special services such as neurosurgery, cancer management, cardiac surgery, etc. That cannot be provided by primary and secondary health centers. The example of tertiary hospitals include three medical colleges and advanced medical research institutes. So this is all about the definition of hospitals 
क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ हॉस्पिटल दैट इज प्राइमरी हॉस्पिटल सेकेंडरी हॉस्पिटल एंड टर्शरी हॉस्पिटल्स इन नेक्स्ट लेक्चर विल सी क्लिनिकल एंड नॉन क्लिनिकल हॉस्पिटल्स